warning. This podcast is for mature audiences only. If you are under 18, please leave now. That goes for you as well, Karen. We are not professionals, so don't take our advice for shit. So just sit back and enjoy our kinky adventures. And welcome back, kinky fuckers, to Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. That's right, Bang Bang Pineapple Gang. Coming in your ears via podcast, whether it be Apple Podcast, or Spotify, or iHeartRadio, wherever you're downloading this podcast. Thank you very much. I am your host. My name is Jay. And I am the sexy V. Yeah, the very sexy V. What, 11.3K? It's growing. Uh, on, on was it FetLife? FetLife followers? Yeah, I have a lot of followers on Fet. Yeah. I know that does like a, doesn't amount to anything other than just like, wow, that's a lot of people. Right. Because that's a lot of fucking people. Yeah. It's, you're, they're all like, I can't. I don't, off, dropping loads to you. Uh, well, not all of them, but, <laughs> you know, even if like 10% of them were like, that's still that's a, a lot, lot of, of fucking people. That's a lot of cum. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we are a lifestyle podcast. If this is your first time listening, yeah. Um, we are a stag vixen couple. Yes, that's how you could categorize us. Uh, I do like to watch you get fucked. You do. But I don't like the humiliation part. So. Yeah, not so much like the, the cuck scene. Nope. Um, we're not really into that at all. Not our dynamic. Nope, not at all. Totally cool if you are, but yeah, <laughs> right? it's just not our thing. Yeah. We just don't. Yeah, it's just not a dynamic that we've. Yeah, it's just not what we're interested in. Yeah, um, you can find our podcast, uh, like I said, at the top of the show, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts. If you guys are doing it on Apple Podcasts, make sure to leave a review and a like on there um, because it helps with the algorithms and hopefully it'll get us back in the rankings because we slipped there for a little while. Well, we've been slacking a little bit. We haven't been able to do the weekly thing. The schedules are messed up with the kids and, yeah, you know, and, and we have free time. And, and and before we jump in this other, you know, house stuff here that we have to do, I do have to bring up, this is our second time recording this episode. It is. Uh, and we are recording it at your house. Yeah. So we're, <laughs> yeah, we're at my house tonight. Um yeah. So if it sounds a little different, I haven't really listened to what kind of difference is going to be because we're. In I'm your, sure we'll be fine. We're in your kitchen. But we're in your kitchen. Yeah, but I got like shelves and stuff that kind of hits the the sound, you know. Well, I guess that's why we're kind of in here as opposed to in the middle. Yeah, the, there, like, but literally. I don't know. We'll see. But either way, yeah, we had to make it work. So here we are. Yeah, and the reason why this is take two is because my 18 year old son decided. To pop in halfway through our other... <laughs> yeah, the, so we were, we were like 25 min- minutes into it, yeah. and your phone was ringing, and or you got a text or something, and he's like, oh, by the way, I'm just going to come back to your house instead of going to mom's. And we're like, uh... uh you're supposed to be at your mom's tonight, motherfucker. And we're like, okay, well, uh, where, where are you? And he's like, right outside the door. Because he, he decided to give me a phone call just because he knew that... The courtesy call. The courtesy call because yeah. he knew that you and me would probably be in there fucking because it was our, our night to... More than to, likely. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we don't have kids. So at least know? he didn't roll in and was like, what's up? <laughs> well, at least we didn't have other people there either. Oh, I was yeah. thinking that too. Like, exactly. You had, had you like double dick down and... Yeah. I Oh, wow. I mean, I'm sure... He, well, he would have called first, yeah. of course, because... Especially if he saw another car there, but yeah. like, how awkward would that be if I he comes in the house and then he sees like another person there? And yeah, we're all like, you know, clothed or whatever, but still. I think at that point, we'd be like, guess what, son? You're 18 years old. You should be able to handle this truth that your your dad's a swinger. Mm, yeah, no, <laughs> no, he, no, he's no, <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> uh, so, so that's why we are uh, doing a, a redo of this episode right now. Uh, but if you guys want to also listen to us, we can be found on Full Swap Radio. Yeah, fullswapradio.com is a radio station available 24-7 and you can uh, go on there any time of the day and listen to Sex positive, lifestyle friendly, yeah, all kinds kink of kink friendly you know, podcasts. Yeah, yeah, they have uh, like gay and lesbian podcast, and they have you know different kind of 
you know, couples on there for like they have bondage, you know, po- podcasts. They have all kinds of stuff. So whatever yeah. you're into, you'll find something. And it's been really nice uh, on my commute because I've been able to listen to a lot of different uh, podcasts. Yeah, because you have what, like almost four hours commute each day? <laughs> yeah, let's remind me. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, two hours there, two hours back. Roughly, yeah. yeah. So, you know, you get a lot of time to listen to I, some, some kinky podcasts. I sure do. Uh, but when when can they find us on Full Swap Radio? So you can listen to our shows at 8 a.m. on Mondays and 10 a.m. on Saturdays. Uh, that's Central Time. And, um, yeah, you can just go to fullswapradio.com and check it out. Or there is an app you can download for your Android and for you iPhone users, you will just have to wait a little while yes. and be patient for their app they're working on. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, you guys can go and listen to there. And we also have, we recorded a holiday greeting that's been running out there. Yeah, uh, we sure did. So we we jumped on that. Uh, they gave us the opportunity to plug our show on a little commercial. Wishing everyone some happy holidays and a joyous and prosperous new year. Yeah. Look so, at you. So go out there and listen to Full Swap Radio. Deckham. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram. You can. And uh, TikTok. T- Instagram and TikTok. Mm-hmm. And if you go to our Instagram page, uh, there is a link in the bio. It's like a uh, link tree. And it'll link you to our TikTok. It'll link you to our, our Discord. Discord. Uh, uh, Discord is uh, Swinger Society. Uh, where we are on there with a bunch of other Swing Talk hosts. And um, uh, the, I think we're at s- over 6,000 people on there now. That's a lot of people. So if you want to go there and, you know, talk kink or, you know, learn about the lifestyle, let's say you're just getting into it and you want to ask questions. Uh, now, that's all swingers then, right? Because it's yeah, mostly it's, swinger-based, yeah, correct? Yeah, it's swinger-based, and we try to keep it swinger-based. Yeah. But there are, you know, you get your single guys that get in there and, you know. Well, I mean, you can still be there. a single guy and be a swinger. Yeah, so. well, I was. I was yeah, in, so. in the lifestyle. Those are called bowls. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, in most cases. Um, But, uh yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, you distracted me uh, with the bull thing. Uh, well, you're over there distracting me. You're sitting there playing with your Yeah, oh, sorry. Well, yeah, because I'm like, you know, this table's a little smaller than we're normally yeah. used to, so I'm kind of like hunched over, and then right. I have my hands here, and then I'm like, ooh, my boobs are here, and then I just started do do Yeah, because my, my chairs are kind of like bar stools, so I kind of, you know. Yeah, can, they're up higher, yeah, yeah. up higher, and I, you know. But right now, I feel like I'm sitting on the floor, like I'm. In We're school. at a card table, yeah. We're like at the kids' table <laughs> at Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, this is very entertaining here. Um, so yeah, so we like I said, we have about six thousand people on uh, Swing Society uh, Discord, uh, and people like to go in and show off. They you know some people post videos and pictures and sweet. Uh, like I said, it's just a it's a bunch of fun. Um, I, I, you know, bounce a bunch of ideas off of people on there, mm-hmm. um, you know, story ideas and, and, and just chat, just chat with people. And awesome. It, it's been awesome. So you guys can find that. But if you guys want to see the sexy V right here, and when I say sexy, she is voila, sexy. <laughs> well, you're and, a little biased. And, and it was funny because there was a guy on TikTok. I was watching this live and he just started listening to our podcast and he's like, okay. he's like, I have to go and see what this V looks like. Cause I talk you up such a big game. You do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, well, you're going to have to go to your only fans and your only fans is. Yeah. Well, send us an email, um, at BB pineapple G at yahoo.com. Yeah. And we'll send you the link. We'll send you a link there. Yeah. That'd uh, be the easiest. The easiest because you've you got a weird name. Yeah. So <laughs> Totally do. So uh, it's just easier for us to send you a link that way. Yep, and, sure. And it's all, you, you you get, you pay your monthly fee. Yeah, it's a one-time fee each month if, you know, if you continue to stay. Um, and you get everything. There's no pay-per-view at all. Oh. So you get it all, baby. There's... Yeah. Videos and pictures, and there's lives. There's yeah. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we got a couple hours of live. Yep, sure do. Fucking going on. So yes, we do. It's fucking hot. You know, it's well worth because I think it's fifteen dollars a month. It's fifteen a month, but it's half off right now, so seven fifty. Yeah. So for seven dollars so, and fifty cents, you can get your ass uh, hours of yeah. stuff to jerk off to. And that's actually really funny because I got this isn't part of 
I mean, I guess it, you know, it was some dude sliding into my DMs, but he was telling me that, uh, um, he's like, I hope I don't bother you, but I have to confess that I've been seeing your oral sex pic for almost half an hour. Damn, you must be incredible doing a blowjob. <laughs> so there are people that, you know, yeah, um, it, yeah watch I mean, them and jerk off to them. So I'm sure if we have one satisfied customer, <laughs> yeah. hopefully you'll be satisfied too. And I have to say, you know, I've, I've had a lot of blowjobs in my lifetime, but your, your head game is super strong. <laughs> you know, I take pride in that, but I've been complimented on that uh, because for it, many years. Because it used to be where I could never really get off by a blowjob. Right. And boom, you get me off. Boom, you get me off. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it was definitely not a thing anymore for you because, yeah, yeah I, I got you off quite a few times. Yeah, exactly. And uh, there, I think there's a video of me, me coming in your mouth. There, yeah, there's one video of uh, me getting you off, but I just keep it all in my mouth. Yeah, so yeah, it's not like it. it's not like a cum shot or anything like yeah. that. Speaking of shots, though, money shots uh, leads us to our story that we're going to be reading a little bit later. Where this lady, um, I'm not going to spoil it right now, it, but this new story is is crazy, very crazy, um, like the things people do for. For views. For views. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, <laughs> so we'll, we'll uh, talk about the the worst money shot you could have. Yeah. Um, but uh, we also have our DM slides that will be coming up and yep. our sexy story this week. We'll be talking um, about Madison Guy again. Yeah. Um, our second experience. Our second experience with him because we gave him a second sh- chance. Yeah, because, we wanted to give him a second chance. Because um, that cock is big and beautiful. Definitely. <laughs> And, you know, I understand things can be a little awkward at first and things can be weird. And, yeah, he didn't last very long if you didn't listen to the, you know, the first episode when yeah. we talked about it. Well, not the first episode, but when yeah. we talked yeah. about it's an episode, our first yeah. episode. Episode seven, if you want to go back and listen to episode seven, that oh, is okay. when we talked about. Look at you. Yeah. Well, I know my episodes. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I mean, it was. He had an uh, amazing cock. He just didn't last yeah, long, long at all. At all. At all. Not, even a, not even a minute. And, <laughs> okay, so whatever. I'll give you another chance. You mm-hmm. know, benefit of the doubt. So yep. we'll talk about our experience with yep. him again. Yep, so we'll we'll go into the medicine guy, the monster cock part. Part, part duh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're catching up on a few things here because it's been a little while um, because uh, we had family stuff going on. And then you were out of town for a little while. Yeah, I was uh, in Wisconsin in Lake Geneva for a work trip. Oh. So um, I actually stayed at the Grand Geneva uh, Resort, mm-hmm. which is in Lake Geneva. And it used to be the old Playboy Club the old back Playboy in the day. Club. So uh, Hugh Hefner decided he loved the you know, location. So he built a facility out there. And I mean, it's, it's a large facility. There's a ski mountain, um, you know, they have horses and stables. There's two golf courses and, you know, obviously the resort and uh, just tons mm-hmm. of stuff to do. So it's obviously not a playboy club now. Yeah. It, it has changed hands. So there's and no it's naked ladies Family friendly. Around. There's actually another uh, large hotel on the property, which is a water park. It's like a indoor water park. Yeah, yeah. like what Timber Ridge yeah. or something. So it's an indoor water park. So um yeah, a lot of people go up there and And you were up there for about three days. Yeah, so I went up Sunday night and we spent yeah, the I evening actually, up I actually there. came up there with you because yep. it's only about what like it's like an not hour, even an hour, hour from here. Hour from here. From so, where we so live. I was like, fuck it, you know, it's a Sunday night. I don't have to work in the morning. Yeah. because uh, I had the day off. Yep, and you didn't have the kids and um, check in was at four, so I'm like, "Fuck it, let's go and spend the evening up there." Yep. I'm like, "I'm like, I have to fuck in the old Playboy Club." Yeah, to say, for sure. To say I fucked in the same spot you have to do exactly, <laughs> and all the other famous people, and yeah, who else knows? But yeah, right? yeah, so we went up there on Sunday, and we, um, you know, it's all decorated for the holidays, so mm-hmm. we walked around the whole. Uh, grounds there. Well, we didn't walk outside, but you yeah. know, in the hotel, yeah, and and they had a, a lot of photo opportunity spots, and yeah, you know, PG. Yeah, a lot photo of decorations. Spots. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's not like you're whipping, friendly, whipping out those magnificent tits. 
you know, no, to take not next there. to Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, not there. Uh, but uh, but we were going to record um, like a few days prior, but we did get distracted because um, I did see Santa. Yeah, you did. And um, I caught mommy blowing Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> uh, we, we started filming the stuff for your OnlyFans page for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, where you had Make a few content, a uh, few holiday outfits on and. And I dressed up as uh, old Saint Nick and spoiler alert, spoiler alert. And you, uh, you, you, uh, you definitely Santa came down your chimney that night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but going back to the hotel, um, I'm like, you know, I had to fuck you in the hotel. So, Ooh, so, duh. so I fucked you in the hotel, and uh, you know, I was wanting you to be naughty a little bit <laughs> because we had ordered uh room service <laughs> oh yeah you wanted me to answer the door in my underwear huh yeah because you're walking around in your underwear yeah like a tank top i'm like you should answer you answer the door when a dude brings us our food in, in your underwear and, and yeah, you're like I, nah i didn't it will see here's the thing like there's other work people coming up here on set on, on sunday like yeah. when i checked in i saw them so with my luck I would be answering the door half naked to, with a stranger, which is, you know. Yeah. And then they would walk by and see me. Yeah. I guarantee it. Now, now here's a question. Let's say we weren't at a where you're with your work people. Let's say we were on vacation somewhere. Yeah, I don't is, know. Is this something that you, you would do? Like I don't know. I mean, it may, probably, because if you're just in your underwear, I mean, it's no different than being in a swimsuit, honestly. Yeah. You know, and, and you have to you have to walk back in and be like, oh, I forgot your tip, and you got to bend, bend over, down, and yep. pick it up from the floor yep. or something. I wonder how many of these like room service guys they've probably seen some shit, seen some shit, or yeah. got invited in yeah, the stuff. Could be. I don't know. It's it's a fantasy of mine. I'm, yeah, but huh. <laughs> hmm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a big turn on. Yeah. I've, I've watched the the porn videos. I'm sure you where, have. Where you know the pizza man comes to the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll give you a tip. I'll give you a tip. But, uh, another funny thing that happened while you were there, because I was there for only Sunday. Correct. And then what was it? Tuesday night. So yeah, Tuesday night for dinner, we were all at dinner and there's about 10 people total. Um, now everybody is, you know, I've, I've known everybody for quite a few years and they're all pretty conservative, People. So when I'm with these people, I cannot be myself. I am not the true V mm. that you would get. Yeah. Right now, yeah. for example. Mm. So we were sitting at dinner, and uh, one of the newer ladies in the office, she was talking about uh, pineapples. I don't know how the conversation started. I don't know if she initiated it or if the other end of the table started talking about it, and then she kind of just, you know, started talking about it to include herself in the conversation mm -hmm. and then i caught on and i was like uh -oh. pineapples pineapples not now you piqued my interest yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> what are you talking about pineapples? She's like, yeah i can't believe that once i found out what it meant you know i took them down or whatever and she had decorations or something apparently yeah. yeah some kind of decoration and then they were talking about like why is it the pineapple a signal for swingers and this and that and then they were talking about the resorts, how there's like resorts for swingers. Mm -hmm. And then um, I kind of have two bosses and one of them was like, yeah, when I was down in Texas, I was getting, you know, like a little tour of the neighborhoods. And the lady was like, yeah, those neighborhoods over in that direction are like the swinger neighborhoods. What? And dude's <laughs> like, and you would never catch me living there just because I could not afford it. <laughs> so these places were probably pretty large and immaculate wow. houses. So, wow. yeah, Because um, like, all the rich people are swingers, right? Uh, well, apparently. Well, I've heard a lot of people in Texas are swingers, too. So. Yeah, Texas has a huge amount of swingers. Yeah, well, they say everything's larger in Texas, right? So I All guess right. you'd have a larger swinger population. And oh, I thought you were going to say larger dicks in Texas. Well, uh, I don't know. I, I haven't been there to test out that hypothesis. I don't know. I, I The only thing I've ever known about Texas is there's only two things in Texas, steers and queers. <laughs> 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 and I don't see no horns on you, boy. 
Uh, but yeah, so did you feel like you were called out? No, I didn't feel called out at all because they weren't. No, they were just talking about it because they, you know, they thought it was funny. It really wasn't anything where I felt called out or like they they knew something. Now, if they did know something, the only way they would know about it is if they found out themselves on one of the sites I'm on, yeah. which in that case, what are you doing there yeah, in the yeah, first well, yeah. place? How, why are you here? Right, so don't be judging me. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, see, um, see uh, that that conversation's come up, you know, with other people where it's like, um, what if they see me on SLS? I'm like, they're on SLS too, and and that's <laughs> the thing. But sometimes you, it's just better for some people to just, to just not know. Not know. Yep. Like, there's people I don't want to have that image of you doing some weird shit <laughs> in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so when they were talking about pineapples, did you like correct them? Be like, no, it's gotta be an upside down pineapple or did no, somebody bring it up? I think they had mentioned that, but I didn't want to interject with like too much knowledge. <laughs> and then they're like, Whoa, wait a minute. Like, what do you know about this? Right. So, uh, because you did interject one of your stories that we read on this. I the did. Show. So after he mentioned about the neighborhood, I was like, Oh, well, that's funny because I did read an article about some guy, buying like um an area for a trailer park and he wanted all the swingers that had like trailers and campers to come and be like a little community literally <laughs> and, <laughs> and how did you come across this <laughs> so yeah no i mean there was no i mean that's i mean you can google shit I, like i was that, talking so. about it on my swinger podcast right <laughs> <laughs> so um but but had it was it weird sitting there and them talking about it and you having to sit there and be like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a swinger and I can't really, you know, interject too much. Well, yeah, I guess a little bit, but not really too, not honestly, not really, because I have to hold back anyways with, yeah. with my regular life, you right. know, swinging or not. So I'm just not myself. I have to be a yeah. different professional type of. People, you know, the, uh, these are people I work with. Yeah. These are not my friends. So yeah. I have to remember that. So, and of course they're all drinking. So they're oh. getting really loose and they're, you know, they're thinking all this shit's funny. And I'm just sitting there like, okay. Like, and, and, and where you're like, oh, fuck, a, a swinger orgy is going to break out. <laughs> oh God, no, I never thought that at all. No, no, no. These people are like far too yeah. vanilla. Hell no. Yeah. Uh, no. It, and it's funny because you talk about how, you know, you can't talk about swinging and stuff like work. And yeah. uh, it reminds me of what I saw this guy on TikTok this past week where uh, his TikToks were hitting pretty big because he came out about talking about uh, he shared his wife for the first time. It just kind of happened yeah. for them one time. And he really and, liked and it. And he really liked it. So he ta started talking about it on TikTok. Yeah. And so he made a few videos on it. And then all of a sudden uh, he took all those videos down. And put up a video saying, I'm sorry, you know, I was talking about this, but due to um, our jobs, the morality, the clause. morality clauses yeah. at these jobs that they're at, yep. he can't be talking about this kind of That's stuff. That's pretty messed up. I'm like, That's fucked up. It is, but you know, I mean, there, it just goes to show you that the professional world, depending on what you do, it's not cool with. Yeah. Stuff like that by any means. But and it's really fucked up too because um you know, the structure of how I work, I have three I have like one main boss and then I have like two people that are like my bosses that tell me what to do, basically. And you know, one of them mentioned um now this was a few years ago how he made a comment about not respecting women who did stuff like that. Now I don't know if he was specifically talking about women cheating mm. that I'm not quite sure, but the way that he mentioned it, I was just like, well, damn, like your opinion of me would really change if you knew right. what I really right. did. That, that I'm sucking two dudes off at the same time. Yeah. And, and you just, know, eating some chicks pussy. Right. And the thing is, that's really fucked up because he respects me up until today. Yeah. But then let's say I tell him or he finds out I, you know, have an OnlyFans page, for example, <laughs> right. then, yeah, he'd probably lose all respect for me. But how fucked up is that? Yeah. yeah that, it's, it's Just it because sucks. I make a choice that he doesn't agree with? Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it's it's totally ridiculous. Yeah. And, and you know, and it's one of the big things that the swing talk crew, uh, all these uh, swingers that are on TikTok, yeah, they're kind of banding together, trying to break the stigma of this kind of shit. But well, yeah, it, it's never gonna. No, never it's always gonna be. gonna be there. And you know, maybe in like twenty years' time, when you know, like our generation is like the older generation, you know. Kind of, we'll be stuck in our own ways, and yeah. all these n- new generations will come up with these new age. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe it will be more accepted later. What you know, when we're older. But for the meantime, I definitely don't see it being something that everybody's going to be talking about and yeah. accepting of. Hey, we just gotta keep keep grinding, and that's what we got like these podcasts and everything for. Yeah, and, but know. all the people who are all about it, yeah, we appreciate you joining in yeah. and uh, enjoying our lifestyle as much as we enjoy yeah, it. Definitely. So, uh, you ready to get into some DM slides? This is uh, yeah. and uh, the guy that started listening to our podcast this week. He goes, "Your guys' best segment that you guys do, and it, you know it." Cracks him up every time he fucking listens to him. <laughs> is our DM slides. The DM slides. He goes, if you guys That's tune funny. in to anything, make sure to listen to the DM slides because <laughs> there are some fucked up people yeah. that try to hit us up. So I have a, a couple. This one's real short. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just a, a comment uh, that he put in there. Um, he had sent me a message. And, of course, these are all doms. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we don't play we with don't, doms. Nope. It's mentioned on both of our pages. It's just a di- dynamic or a personality type that we are not into. No, because no, we're we're in we are a chill couple, and we yes. just want to have a good time. Fuck, we're not into you know some guy coming in thinking that he's going to like run taking our over, or yeah, and just beat the being fuck all out dominant, yeah. like telling me what to do and yeah. telling you what to do. It's not like that. No, so no. I'm gonna tell you what to do exactly, but not in like a dominating like. You know, like in my cat suit with a whip kind of way. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But anyways, this guy just makes a comment that I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, I have a machine shop. I'd love to show you if you're free. So so he's (laughs) going to take you to his shop. Machine shop. That's fucking. It's just weird. I don't get it. Yeah, so okay. it sounds like a serial killer to me. Something. But I did see his pick. He's got a huge cock. He definitely does, yes. <laughs> now, I actually just noticed that because I didn't click on his picture before. Mm-hmm. Um, but Because yeah. he wanted to get with you and his girlfriend or his sub or whatever Correct, she is. yes. And it looks like he is... They're like in a DS relationship. So, and oh, actually, you know what? I did click on pictures because I did see her tied up and um, she's got a lot of uh, marks from a lot of impact play. Mm. So, yeah, so that's not your dynamic. Not, not really up my alley. So, maybe in the past, right? <laughs> well, in the past, well, not so much impact, more like biting. Yeah. You know, yeah. that was a little different, but I've seen pictures. <laughs> yeah, there's like maybe one out there. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So this one I thought was really funny. Um. Well, not funny, but this one was like, it definitely caught my attention. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's way better than the "Hey, hi, how are you?" Yeah, messages. Yeah. So that's a tip. If you want to try to get with a couple, don't start off with "Hey, hello." No, definitely put some thought into it and be genuine yeah. and. Yeah. So this guy is a dom, of course. Um, And it's funny because I just pulled it back up on the platform here. This is from FET, and he must have deactivated his account because that's, it says he's, you know, I'm either blocked or been deactivated. I can't imagine I'm blocked. I haven't, unless he blocked me because I didn't respond to him in, in the few days. But he said, Let's pretend you and I are neighbors and have said hi a time or two. You even caught me checking you out once after we spoke. Peach emoji. (laughs) It's Friday night at 9 p.m. and you hear a knock. You see me standing there with a bag of food. You answer the door and I ask, or and I wanna, and I ask, wanna eat these tacos and make a blanket for it while we listen to scary stories. I'd be like, uh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you can leave the tacos here. <laughs> and then he says, P.S. Truly in love with your obsession to suck two cocks. 
So, well, thank you. Yeah. I, you do have an infatuation with two cocks. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, and I've been trying and trying and trying to line up to see how you handle three at a time. Yeah, it's hard to get an extra one, yeah, let alone it's, it's two ha- extra. Yeah, it's hard to get one guy to actually show up, yeah. let alone two guys at one time to show up. Yeah. So, um, wouldn't I be the one asking if he wanted to eat these tacos? I know, right? Eat your taco. Right. But... but yeah, that's... it. it it's a really cool catcher, but the fucker never e- probably read your profile because. Well, no, I mean he just sent a message because he probably saw a picture and was like, "Oh, cool." But no, yeah. that right there tells me you're not gonna take the time, and you know, make it about me. No. If you can't and and, and even, read my profile, let's say he did read your profile and he he saw no doms, but still went on with the whole conversation. Then that's. You know, in my mind, that's him being you just know, like disrespectful. Disrespectful, like uh, you know, like he's I'm, trying to change my mind. Yeah, I'm going to change your mind. You're yeah. going to look at my two centimeter Peter, and you're going to fucking <laughs> want to eat my tacos. Oh. Uh, but I'm just wondering if you know, there's a lot of guys that copy and paste the same shit over and over again. Yeah, whether that's something like that's his opening line, and then he just added the whole double cock thing because he probably saw you sucking. It had to make it a little more like personal. Yeah. It could be, yeah. 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 It's hard to say. There's so many people on here. You don't really know who's real, who's not. But if you really want my attention, no. sign up for my OnlyFans. Yeah. Page. And where can you sign up for your OnlyFans? <laughs> well, send us an email at uh, bbpineappleg at yahoo.com. Yeah. We'll send you the link. We'll send you the link that way. Uh, well, my DM slide is kind of going the opposite way. Of of a dom, because okay, well that would be a sub. And yep. And okay. So a sub sent us a message. All right. All right. Uh, this is a thirty-one year old male sub. Okay. And I don't get too many of these. Yes, and I've noticed there are not too many males that identify as submissives. No. That is definitely a more rare. Um, dynamic to see. I mean, it's definitely out there, but it's not as common as Dom's, for example. Yeah. All right. His opening line here was, you should let your wife Dom me. Well, I would need to bust out the cat suit in my whip, like I just mentioned, <laughs> right? All right. So, so here's my question. Is, uh, is I know we don't want Dom's coming in. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts? Would you Dom a sub like this? I don't know. I've I've I haven't really put too much thought into it. Because I know you've used the like strap on on me and you kind of you kind of like that that power Definite. feel. Oh, absolutely. Um I don't know. I guess I would have to like really be in the right mindset to like do it, like try it out. Yeah. Um and I guess ultimately it would also have, you know, depend on the person too that I no. would be torturing or like doing all these things too that i'm not normally about yeah, yeah. whether so he, i don't know he wants you like to spit on his face and shit on his head well i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah i definitely have some lines that i draw in the sand <laughs> and um shitting on people's faces is probably one of those so <laughs> oh you're not gonna squat and piss all over his face like that singer we talked about last week <laughs> just like we also talked about I would probably be there hovering for two hours because I cannot piss in front of people, no uh, matter how hard I try. Uh, so I, I messaged the guy back because I, I message everyone back. Yes. You know, whether it's yes, no, whatever, or whatnot. I go, uh, not really our thing. Uh, we just like the fuck. Not into Dom either way. Yeah. Um, and he goes, really? Not even light bondage? I like being restrained to the bed and she can have her way with me. I like pegging also. Well, you enjoy pegging, too. I haven't tied you up to the bed, but no. I think we've talked about it. But, yeah, yeah, I've never really, like, you know, done that and, like, taken, you know, control like that. Yeah. And I, I go, no, you know, it's we're not interested. But <laughs> but is this something I should be like, well, you know what, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, it's. Yeah, so I don't get too many subs messing just like that, and it just kind of threw me off. I'm like, okay. I'm yeah, like, I have had a few people ask me um, if, you know, that they would want me to 
top them or, you know, be their, their dom like that and, you know, kind of boss them around, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so uh, it's a whole new di- dynamic to me. I, I don't know. I'd have to be really comfortable, I guess, with yeah. the person because. Yeah. But but you look like you're open to it. I'm open to it. I mean, there's definitely a possibility. But like I said, I would definitely have to be in the right mindset to do certain things, or I guess it would really depend on what they'd want me to do. Hmm. Okay, you know. All right, so the, those are our DM slides of the week, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, pretty interesting conversations we had here, uh, going from one the dom dynamic to the sub dynamic, and that's a lot. What you get with Fet Life is those yeah. kind of people, but uh, they those are kind those kind of people. Kind of people. You know, and, and I, I, I don't. Ju- <laughs> I, I'm I'm not a judgy person. You sound pretty judgy, though. Uh, but type of but it seems like that's what you get is, is dom, 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 dom. Well, I every think, once in a while you come across some uh, like a swinger or a you know. Well, I think a lot of people, well, a lot of the guys on there, just feel like they need to put that to get laid. Well, it's like it's not they're not legitimate doms. Yeah, and you know, there's been DM slides where I'm like, well, we don't play with doms, and he goes, I'm not a dom. I just put that there. Yeah, exactly. I and, don't know how to change it. <laughs> right. I, we've heard everything. We've seen people change it and come back to us and be like, oh, I'm I'm not a dom. I'm this. And it's like, dude, like, come on, go waste your time or don't waste your time here. We're not interested. There's other mm-hmm. people out there that you will be compatible with, I'm sure. But All right, so move you, on. <laughs> you ready for our story? Ready for the uh, story. Our new story of the week. And it's about a money shot. Like none other, a woman fires gun at her vagina in cam show crotch shot gone horribly wrong. Oh, my God. I can't even imagine. Uh, a webcam model redefined crotch shot when she accidentally discharged a firearm into her vagina during a sex stunt gone awry. According to the police report, the woman has subscribers in quotation marks, yeah, on a sexual web platform called Chatterbait, where people pay to see her make sexual videos. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it, Why is there ammo in the fucking weapon uh, when you're twirling it around your vagina? Right. You got to make sure that there's no, no clip in there. There's not one in the chamber. You make sure that gun is empty as fuck, and then you double check it and triple check it. And check it again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right, right, like exactly. that's what, I, yeah, I mean, that's what I would do. And I don't even think I would do something like that just because I don't know. It's just not my thing. She must have had some kinky fuckers on there that are like, baby, put that gun in your pussy. Yeah. I, I could see it too. Oh, absolutely. I could see it. Yep, for sure. <laughs> uh, this probably wasn't the kind of money shot she was banking on. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, Georgia webcam model Lauren Hunter Damon, 27, redefined crotch shot after discharging a firearm into her vagina during an alleged sexual stunt gone awry. Uh, The female had shot her vagina uh, accidentally, said the paramedic, reportedly told uh, responding police officers of the incident, which reportedly occurred on the morning of November 9th at her residence in Tomlinson, per a report by the Upside Upson County Sheriff. Uh, later interviews with the witnesses revealed that the sex pistol turned gunshot victim was apparently alone in her bedroom when the weapon, a nine millimeter handgun, went off. Officers God. were first <laughs> alerted to firearm fiasco after receiving an accidental gunshot wound call from the residents. Upon arriving at the scene, a sheriff deputy encountered. EMS Rivers, who was holding the unloaded handgun and a spent bullet casing in her hands. Wow. She told the officer that Damon had blasted herself in her nether regions. That's fucked up. Well, I know that, you know, it it goes on a little bit, but it doesn't say, like, the extent of her injury or where she actually shot herself, if it literally went in the vagina or if it, like... You know, nick the leg, yeah. but it seems like she was okay. Yeah, uh, from from what it sounds like is that because it, it, it says here that she only had like a small amount of blood on her leg, right? So she probably like 
shot her like labia. <laughs> Who, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. And then like, where's the bullet? Like, is it still in her? Did it go oh, through and through? Is it like in the bed? Who knows? But that's fucked up. Yeah, because uh, when we first got together, we did the chatterbait thing. Yeah, we tried chatterbait, and you know, it was a lot of fun. But to really make it lucrative, it seems like a lot of um, like. Technical work, work yeah, shit. Yeah, technical like, work stuff. Yeah, like the, yeah. You just wanted to go on and get fucked, you know, have people watch you get fucked. And, um, you know, the, I think the, like the first night we were on there, like a, we had some frat, a fraternity, some frat boys, well, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, who knows? They were, they were wanting to pay you $400 for a private show. Yeah, they wanted to pay a bunch of money for a private show. But they didn't want to pay money. They wanted to pay you with Amazon gift cards. It was like, yeah, Amazon it was, it was totally cards. a scam. Yeah, Amazon and, gift cards. And card, when you so. went to go use the Amazon gift card, it was already used. Well, yeah, they had sent it to me, but I didn't even give them a show at all. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was, it was weird. But uh, uh, yeah, so I would think that that would be against some kind of terms of service. You would think, even for chatterbait, to be sitting there jerking off with a gun. Yeah, I don't know what their rules are over there. I've never had to look that up because I've never uh, had that thought cross my mind. But yeah, why the fuck would you have a fucking bullet in the gun? That does not make any sense at all. Yeah. Uh, she goes, however, it appears that Chatter is actually Chatterbait, a popular adult site for viewers of the webcam models. Um, it's although it's yet unclear whether Damon was broadcasting at the time of the mishap or if the clip was slated to appear on the porn platform because you can record and put videos out there kind of like only schedule fans. them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, immediately after the accident, Damon was rushed to the the. County Sheriff's Office, where a helicopter flew her to Makeham Hospital. Yeah, a helicopter. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing is that? <laughs> what do you? Are you okay? What happened? Uh, I shot myself in my vagina. Right, that's like the people that go to the emergency rooms with like For, light like, bulbs up their fucked ass. Fucked up shit. Yeah. Or you know, um, crazy like sex horror stories. Yeah, right. <laughs> or, uh, they get a crazy giant dildo arm shoved in there. Or, or a gerbil like. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, I forgot the actor's name, but uh, he had the, the gerbil up his ass. Uh, yeah, so, however, according to Kilgore, Damon provided multiple conflicting accounts of the shooting to the police, at one point claiming that the weapon discharged during consensual sex. Crazy. But, yeah, so, weird. So, that's, <laughs> that's yeah, a weird story. I don't... Um... Uh, I seen that come across, I'm like, dude, that, we have to talk about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Be- some interesting people out there. Uh, because, yeah, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take? Make sure that it's not loaded. She must have not known how to use a gun or check to see if you know. Probably what it was. It was just one in the chamber. Yeah, me, I would be like, watch me fuck this Nerf gun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's Nerf or nothing, baby. <laughs> Nerf or nothing, baby. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely nerf uh, all the way. Yeah, fuck that. You yeah. Know. Oh, I, I couldn't. Can it, you imagine shooting your vagina and then you're like literally fucked up? Like you ruined your vagina. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You like, now you can't fuck. Yeah, that would suck. Uh, <sighs> yeah. <yep. laughs> so fucking weird. All right. So that's our new story of the week. Uh, sh- that's the money shot gone awry. Literally. Uh, yeah. I wonder how much she made off of that if she was live. And people were all of a sudden, oh my gosh, she shot. And then, like, oh my the- God, no, <laughs> nobody's going to give her money because they, sh- if she shot herself. Oh, come on. You know, there's those sick fuckers out there. No. Uh, they probably all freaked out and didn't know what the fuck to do. We were like concerned <laughs> for her. All right. So, uh, I guess we got to go into our sexy story of the week. You guess so, huh? Yep. Um, it's that time. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. Whip out them cocks. <laughs> it's time to stroke it with Bang Bang Pineapple Game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, a little throwback to episode seven where we talked about this uh, gentleman uh, that we met off of SLS. Yep. Uh, he's from Madison, Wisconsin. Single guy. Single guy. Uh, skinny dude. Uh, really skinny dude. And giant 10-inch cock. Yeah, he's got a big cock, that's for sure. Like giant, yeah. giant cock. Like 
I have an eight inch cock and it and it's decent thickness and everything. Mm-hmm. And pressed up next to his, I look like I got a fucking micro penis. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how big his cock is. And I I know I mentioned this before when I was we were like sixty nine and. I had both my hands. I was like holding myself up with both of my hands and his cock fell out of my mouth and the fucking weight on that cock with the thud. Like, holy (laughs) fuck, dude. You got like some internal bleeding now? (laughs) Yeah. yeah. And uh, as we said at the top of the show, um, the first time we met him, uh, you guys did oral for a little bit. Then he finally put his cock in you. And, you know, it's fucking hot. The tight fit. The look on your face was like, holy shit. This is like the biggest fucking thing that's ever been my pussy mm-hmm. and two strokes and he was done he was pulling yep, out coming sadly. on your belly yep i was like okay you know we're just getting started here and then like he was already past halfway he was done yep i'm and then you know i'm sitting there like okay like all right is this it yep. like are you gonna go again like yep and and then do he, i what do I say? <laughs> and, and, and at that time, he was like, "Okay, you know, I'm done. I'm gone." Because he knew the yeah, he he got was... up and left. So okay, whatever. So we did give him a second chance. We figured, why not? He still could be a lot of fun because he showed up. Because to get anyone out of town to actually show up in our yeah, bedroom, he drove, you know, forty minutes, thirty, forty minutes yeah. to get here. So, yeah. but, but anyway, so we invite him back the second time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, just like, over. just like before, uh, you guys start with some oral. Yeah. Um, and we had talked to him before this time that if he was open to, you know, buy play or he was buy comfortable or whatnot. Yeah. And he said that he was, he was cool with it or mm-hmm. whatnot. So, um, this time around while you guys started, uh, sucking, uh, you started sucking him and, uh, you guys ended up getting on the bed into like a 69 position. Mm-hmm. And you were sucking him, and I was filming, and I'm like, "Fuck!" I'm like, "This is a perfect time." I'm like, "I need to feel how thick this fucking oh, cock yeah. is, right?" Mm-hmm. So while you're sucking him, I, you know, grab his cock, mm-hmm. and I have big hands, right? And I couldn't even fucking wrap my hand around that cock. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a big cock. <laughs> and and it was it was just a. a each, you know, because I have a cock. I feel my cock. I felt <laughs> I other guys. Cock. I felt other guys' cocks before. Mm-hmm. Um, but grabbing his cock was like it was just so crazy how thick and like big and like <laughs> dense this fucking cock yeah, is. definitely. Um, so I started stroking him in your mouth a, a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, and you know, filming you and yeah. Um, I was like, oh fuck, I really want to suck it. But you guys were like heavy into what you guys were doing, so I wasn't gonna interrupt what you were doing at that time. Okay. So you guys get done doing uh, sixty nine, and you guys sixty nine for like fucking forever. It felt like, um, you know, I was getting some good shots on the camera, mm-hmm. and he's like, hey, "No, you stopped, and you're like, Are you ready to fuck me now?" Mm-hmm. So he's like, "Yeah, sure, let's go." And here I am, and he's just like. Waited with bated breath. Oh. So it's, 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 it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch this big cat go back inside of her. I'm like, maybe, hopefully. Watch, watch her get real. Watch her get real by this big fucking cat. Yeah, that would have been sweet. I, I, I can't describe how big this fucking cock is. <laughs> it's fucking insane. And uh, he gets, you know, you lay down on your back. Mm-hmm. Same, same position same as position, last time. Yep. And... He puts it in you, and maybe three strokes in this time, he pulls out and comes on you. Yes. And I'm, I'm like, like, oh, And my I didn't want to look at you because I knew I was just going to start, like, laughing, and that would have been so fucking rude. Yeah. But, but like, again? I could not. And I'm really I mean, like, like, dude, you drove 40 minutes here to do that when you could have jerked off at home in literally 10 seconds. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm like, I'm like, and, and here in the back of my mind, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, dude, we gave you a second chance at this. I'm like, I would have yeah. figured like the first time he would have been like, ah, oh, fuck, you know. Sorry. You know, been but, a while. Yeah, but, whatever. Before you come over. 
jerk a couple off. You know, clean out the pipes. Clean out the pipes. Yeah. That way, you know, you're ready to go. And because because I could jerk off like in the earlier part of the day. Yeah. And then fuck you all night long. Yeah. And you know, I'm fucking good to go. But this guy three strokes in, and I felt I felt bad because I was giving this dude a second chance because yeah. I really wanted to see him fuck you. Yeah. And. I was sitting there. I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" But he came on you, and he did. and then he's like, "Was well, still hard." Yeah. And he go he goes, "Well, what's your process on reentry?" And yeah. And, and so you're like, "Oh, you know, you know, whatever, you know, we could still keep going." Mm-hmm. So he put his cock back in you, and you know he started fucking you again. He did. I'm like, wow. Okay. So, okay. Okay. You know. Cool. All you right, know, dude. You you're know, redeeming yourself you're redeeming a little bit yourself, here, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so he's fucking you for a little bit with the, uh, you know, because even soft, this dude is like three times bigger than me. <laughs> he's definitely got a huge guy. <laughs> fucking crazy. Um. So I, I could see that he was, you know, he was fucking you, but he was, you know, losing a little bit. Yeah. So he kind of sat back, and uh, I took my turn on you. Mm-hmm. I started fucking you, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so you started sucking his cock a little bit, and it started getting hard again. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, you know, this is fucking, this is cool. You know, we're we're, you know, in overtime moving now. along. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, overtime. we're in overtime. Now. <laughs> so he's like, uh, do you? I, I I looked at him. I'm like, do you want to fuck her again? He's like, oh fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's he's like, what do? Is there any position you want to do? I'm like, I want to see you fucking ride this guy. Cause we had talked like beforehand and I'm like, I'm like, what do you think you could actually, you know, ride him or, you know, yeah. take him all, you know, doggy style or whatever. And I'm like, I'm going to watch you fucking ride him. <laughs> so, um, one of the hottest videos that I jerk off to, I swear is with you riding his cock. Yeah. He liked that one. Oh my God. Cause he, yeah. You know, while you were on top of him, you kind of like, you, you, you know, sat straight up and you're kind of like grinding back and forth on yeah. him. And you kind of look over at me and you have this look in your face like you were in like pure bliss. <laughs> and I could just imagine because I'm looking over and his 10 inch cock is buried to the hilt. Like you are sat all the way down and you're, <laughs> you're like pelvis to pelvis with him. Yeah. Taking that whole fucking cock. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Fuck. I'm like, I don't know how you took all that cock. Uh, but you could definitely tell you were in a you were in a different place. Yeah, it was definitely uh very enjoyable. Oh my cock sure. is so fucking hard right now. <laughs> uh but uh so you're sitting there riding him and you kinda like lean forward a little bit and you're going up and down and he kinda like put his arms around you mm-hmm. and kinda like lifted his hips up yeah. and he just started fucking jackhammer in your fucking pussy yes like his his balls you know big huge balls that are going with this big huge cock and just <laughs> slapping your fucking ass <laughs> yeah, that's fucking amazing I, i'm sitting there i'm like this that's is the, what i wanted i'm like this is what i'm fucking talking about this dude is fucking paying off now uh but that was again it was only probably about five minutes in yeah and and that was it again and uh that was it yeah. because I, I don't know if he came again or if he just stopped and no, was no, done. He, he he came because uh, you got off of him because he pulled out and then you got off of him and he was like kind of stroking his cock and he was like coming on his stomach. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I was like, fuck, you know, it was hot for those five minutes, but I'm like, dude, I want an all nighter. Right Absolutely. Here, right? Yeah. So a little longer here. Uh, yeah, so uh, that th- that was the time it whipped, wiped him out that time. Yeah. Uh so uh after he came that time, but I will I have to say, you know, it's like etched in my brain just those giant fucking balls <laughs> being a fucking beat on your ass. Yeah. It's one of the fucking hottest videos. Oh my god. Ne- beating on your head. Oh my yeah. No. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that in a future episode. Definitely. Uh, That's way fucking hot. Because, uh, like I said, uh, yeah, we talked shit about this dude coming so quick. These 
first two times we had, we had them over a third time, we what did. we will talk about. And it was the, I, hands down, the hottest experience, experience we've had, we've had with a single guy so far, guy. for sure. Is with him. Yep. Uh, and it was for my birthday this year. Yeah, it was. So we'll get into the part tray. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and a twa. Few, twa. We'll get into that in a you know future episode here. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So he he once again he knew he got up, got dressed. Yeah, he knew. You know, he was there for one role. Really? <laughs> He's there to come fuck me and leave. And that's how we play. Not everybody plays like that. A lot of people need connections to people. And yeah, we definitely communicate online prior and they're all vetted and yeah. they're not just random people. But um, yeah, we just like to have them come over, well, especially single guys. Yeah, just have single them come guys, over, we... do their thing, what they're expected to you know what they're expecting? Yeah. I wanna, we're going to fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 just come in and, you know, and you're already fucking naked. Have some naked. fun. Enjoy yourself and peace out. Yeah, um, because, you I know, mean, we, we don't have time. <laughs> could that get any better? I, I mean, I, I know there are people out there looking for other things, but for the for most people, I mean, that's ultimately probably like, oh, that's that's great. Like, oh, yeah, when I was a No bullshit. When I was a bull. I love those situations. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was the whole. Uh, here's our address. Front doors unlocked. Bedrooms in the back. Yep. You come know, in. Come in. Do this. Uh, the, and... the woman's already naked. Yeah. I strip off my clothes. I do my thing. I don't even say goodbye. Mm-hmm. I just put my clothes back on, and I'm out. I'm fucking <laughs> out. You know, yeah. she got the big dick experience. Yeah. And you know, they got and what they, they wanted. Their thing. And yep. you know, I. I, you know, I last, so, <laughs> yeah, yes. so she got that experience, <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. That, that's how I, how I rolled when I was a bull, and yeah. you know, if any single guys, this is the life, if you could get f- fucking you alone, <laughs> you know, fucking you, it has to be fucking like winning the fucking lottery. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, it's close. It's close. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So. so, yep. Uh, so that was Madison Dude Part Do. Yep, Madison Dude Part Do. Like I said, you know, he came so, three strokes this time. Yeah, pretty two, quick. But, but you uh, know, I will give him the. We'll give him one more chance, right? Yeah, Third well, time's a charm. Oh fuck! Yeah, it mean, sure is. I mean, shit, <laughs> that was a fucking Super Bowl of sh- fucking sex. Yeah, big time. So, so stay. You know, that's a. That's in the business we call that a teaser. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh wow, we are just on an hour today. Yeah, right on time. Wow, so look at that. Make sure you rate and uh send us a review on Apple Podcast if you listen there. Yep. Uh so we can get back in our rankings. Definitely. Um, and, oh, yeah. And one quick thing before we close out. I want to thank all the people that have been sending in screenshots of their Spotify wrapped. Oh, sweet. Uh, they've for been, some stickers. No, no, not for stickers. Oh, okay. Oh, that was an episode we recorded before. Sorry. That's not out. But um, uh, they, they've been sending in pictures of their, because Spotify at the end of the year sends out all the rankings of yes. what you listen to the most and yeah. blah, 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 blah. And we have ranked number one in podcasts for a lot for of people. people. That's pretty badass. I was shocked. I'm like, because I thought most of our people were uh, Apple people. Oh, but, but okay. Spotify is killing for us. Yeah. No, I mean, I listen to it on Spotify, but no, that's awesome. So thank you yeah. to everybody who's listening, regardless of what platform. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Thank you very much for uh, for supporting us on Spotify, uh, wherever you're listening to this podcast. Make sure to keep on listening because, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll drop a new episode and, uh, like, boom, instantly we'll have, within an hour, 100 downloads of it. Anyway, yeah, so. That's awesome. So we love you guys. Uh, so keep on uh, stroking on. <laughs> <laughs> and also, speaking of stroking on, if you want my OnlyFans link, send us an email at bbpineapplepea at yahoo.com. So, as always, stay kinky, fuckers. Stay kinky.